Okay, good morning and welcome to Mish- Mishnah Yomi. Today we're learning Mishnah Shumos, the second parak. Mishnah is based in Gimel. Mishnah base says, Ain't Torm min atome al ator. This is funny, it's actually a Gemara we had on Yavamos. I believe it was Daf Saadi or Peitet. Um, technically, you're not supposed to take off Truma Tmeya for uh, to, to Pater your Tor. Right, so the Rav says your Maf said the Kohen. I mean, this is really a pasuk in the Torah, right? Lo sisa che barimchem and eskalbo mimeno. You shouldn't have a sin. What's a sin? The sin is you take off shumat meya on the Torah. I mean, he's giving a reason. Your Maf said the Kohen. Vim Torah shogik shumat said truma. But like the pasuk says, if it's not truma, then why do you get a, a sin? If you didn't do anything, so the fact that you get a sin, obviously it was valid taking it off. Well, mezel lo asa klum. If you did it on purpose, so loasa klum. So the Gemara and Yavama was asked, how could loasa klum? The Kahama have the, if according to the Torah, the Torah says it's good, so how could if you do it on purpose, it's invalid? In koach alacham la akor davar in the Torah, but kum be essay, tell you to change the laws of the Torah. They have no koach to do that. Um, the Gemara analyzes that over there. Um, and there's different opinions. The, the real accepted opinion is basically we paskin some akhlokas over there. Is it not valid at all? That that would be called akor dar matar, or is it invalid partially, meaning it is considered a matana, matana of truma, but it doesn't path through your kri. You have to in order to take, to remove your kri from tevel, you have to take off another truma. That we're going to explain a little more how that gets around the problem of yesh in kol kam la akor dar bekum asse. Chayim but lebein levi shelo meiser tevel. Let's say a levi gets meiser rishon, and he has to take off truma's meiser to give the kohen. I'm avish of a holy shogeg masha also also. Right, and part of it is tummy, and he wants to pot to the rest that's tor. So if he does have a shogi, it's valid. Mezi lost a klum, mezi it's invalid. Or behuda omer maye yodeya betchila avbishu shogi lost a klum. Even if he, if he knew in the beginning that you're not supposed to take off tummy and tor, and then he doesn't realize afterwards, he doesn't realize that oh, he's taking off tummy al tor. He should have been more careful. So even in shogi, they were kones, and it's not it's not a good shuma. We don't pass like behuda mishnah gimel matal kelim b'shabes. Shogig ishtamish b'ham. You're not allowed. It's in der abana. You're not allowed to, to bring your kalim to the mikvah. Tefilas kalim. Uh, if you buy something from a non-Jew, you have to be tovel it. Um, or you can do that. It's a like Mar Zara. It says it's only der abana. It's tikkun kli. It's only der abana. You're not really making a new kli. Uh, just a halachic thing. So shogig ishtamish b'ham. If you did it by accident, you didn't mistake. You didn't know you were doing an iser. You could use it on Shabbos. Mezel yesh shamish If you did it on purpose, Chazal made a knas, a penalty. You shouldn't use it on my server. I'm a vashal b'Shabbos shogi yochal. Mezel the yochal. If you take out chumas of my shows, that's also tikkun akri, which is also a takinian, a takana, tikkun mana. Uh, it's also the rabbana. So if you do a shogi, you're allowed to eat, eat it. And mezel, you're not allowed to. Vashal b'Shabbos is actually a big machlokus between Rebbe and Rebbe Huda and Rebbe Yochanan Sandler. Um, the way the Rob brings it down is that yeah, on Shabbos, if you cook a Shabbos on Shogi, that's an issue of so you can't eat it. You can eat it on Motzei Shabbos, but you can't eat it on Shabbos. Uh, amazing, you can't even eat it on Motzei Shabbos. And Oteya, the Shabbos, Shogi, Kikayim, so you plant on Shabbos. If you do it for Shogi, you can you let the plant grow. Amazing, Yakar, you did it on, on Mezid, you have to uproot the plant. The Shvi has been Shogi, Amazing, Yakar, and Shvi has even did it for Shogi, you have to uproot the plant. The Rob says the reason is that, or Choshe, that even he does it. Shogig, he really did have a maze. And actually, while well, Shvius, people really don't want to, they don't want to take a year off. They want to, to earn profit. Uh, you could say a different reason over here, Yakor, uh, Bishogig, because there's an Isra on the Kark, but the Kark of the land has to take a sabbatical, not just you. So, therefore, even if you do a Bishogig, you have to get rid of it from the ground so the land should have a sabbatical. That would be the end of today's year. See you in Eon on Mishnah, where we discuss more Mishnah based to define it properly.